think with that, we will wait to the minister. Well, thanks so much and good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us uh, today. Uh, I want to just take uh, a couple of uh, moments here to thank uh, my great colleagues for doing such a great job representing uh, your communities, uh, MPPs, Ke, Pang, and Wei. Thanks so much for being here and for, for your leadership. Uh, I can tell you these three are strong, strong advocates within Premier Ford's government. They were among, in fact, the first MPPs to meet with me when I became minister, and they have continued to champion uh, your issues at Queen's Park and within our government. I'm so fortunate to have the opportunity uh, to work with them, to uh, call them friends. And again, uh, just so glad that they could be here with us uh, today, so thanks. Um, all of you are also champions for uh, your communities. As members of the media, uh, you give your communities a voice and put words uh, into stories of hope and hard work. These stories absolutely need to be told, and thanks to you, they are being told. During these challenging times, your roles are even more important. You take what's happening uh, here at Queen's Park and present it in a way that is easier for your audience to understand. Because of you, we can break down barriers and come together as an even stronger and more united community. So again, thank you so much for all the work that you do. I share your mission of breaking down barriers for your community. I want every newcomer to Ontario to feel welcomed and supported. New immigrants want the same things all of us do, prosperity, stability, community, and a future full of opportunities for their families. That's why I'm proud, pr I'm proud to tell you today that all provincial immigration services and programs in Ontario are now part of our ministry. This means better support for newcomers with a one window customer service approach. Now, all our settlement uh, services and training programs will be under the Ministry of Labor Training and Skills Development. We're changing the system to better set up newcomers for success, attracting global talent here, filling uh, labor, gar labor gaps in the market, and helping newcomers find meaningful work that matches their skills. We're also improving how the Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program picks candidates for permanent residents. Our new system will let people express their interests to apply for permanent residents at any time, making the process easier and fairer for applicants and allowing us to invite people with skills and experiences we need the most. It's a great compliment every time a family comes to our province looking for a better life. This is our mission, to spread opportunity as widely and fairly as possible because we all know that a job is more than collecting a paycheck. Good paying jobs are an expression of our dignity as persons. That's why I'm so proud that we're making it even easier to choose Ontario and achieve the Canadian dream. Thank you and happy to take uh, questions. Okay. Thank you, Minister. Thank you, Minister. Uh, next we have, yeah. Next we have uh, from Toronto TV, Joseph Lau, and I thank you, Joseph. You're always here to cover all the important news that we want to cover. Thank you very much, Joseph. Okay. Hi. Thank you. Uh, can you hear me? We can. Hi, Joseph. Oh, sure. Hi, Minister. Uh, normally, we all we have say news release from government about how many immigrants come to Canada every year, and uh, I know that Canada welcome in new immigrant, Ontario welcome new immigrant. And, and they bring in talents and, and wealth and money. But at the same time, I believe that the government also put in lots of resources, money for the new immigrant integrations, integration and also skill training. So we would like to see a report from your ministry that maybe one year or two years that. So how much money the Ontario government spent on like skill training, the settlement integrations. So we, then we know that how successful they are immigration programs in Ontario. At the same time that, uh, for example, we are the journalists. I know that many journalists from China, Hong Kong, Taiwan, they got trained in their home country, hometown. But here, we would like to see that some training for the journalists so that the import or immigrant journalists can have a chance to integrate to the mainstream media, not only staying in the ethnic media or in their community. All right, that's my question. Thank you. 
Yeah, great question. I mean, I can tell you when it comes to investing in the skilled trades, our government is making this uh, a top priority to get more people uh, into the trades. Uh, as I mentioned a few moments ago, I mean, 200,000 jobs are going unfilled uh, every single day in Ontario. Many of those uh, are in the skilled trades. We're investing a uh, billion dollars over the next four years to recruit uh, people into the trades. Uh, I'm a big uh, believer, and, and my colleagues are, that uh, new Canadians and immigrants make uh, our cities, our province, our country uh, a much better place. And we're really focusing uh, around uh, filling the skills gap uh, with uh, new Canadians filling uh, the, the challenges we're having in our uh, labour market. That's why we're moving all immigration uh, policy and services uh, to one ministry to uh, knock down barriers, uh, streamline uh, services and ensure that uh, these jobs get filled as quickly uh, as possible, including uh, if there are shortages in, in the, the journalism and, and media uh, businesses as well. But I can tell you there are many examples of in-demand jobs uh, right now available that there's a shortage. Uh, healthcare workers, uh, truck drivers, uh, IT jobs, uh, financial services, uh, advertising, marketing, and public relations uh, managers. I mean, there's so much opportunity here. Uh, Ontario really is a land of opportunity, and our government under Premier Ford and, and my colleagues is making this our mission to uh, ensure that people get good, meaningful jobs. We know this uh, builds uh, stronger families, keeps the family unit uh, together, and also builds...